Okay, so right now, guys, we are recording this English meeting. So for everyone who are watching us by the YouTube, I'd like to say hello for them and say it's nice to have you here with us. And we gonna we are about to start our English speaking season uh, from the YouTube channel Yes You Can. And uh, we have today with us Jihado. Jihado is from Bangladesh. We have today Alice, Alice from China. So, and of course, I, I'm from Brazil. Uh, and we have been put together, these people here, just to improve their English and, of course, learn new topics or learn new words to increase our vocabulary. So, today, guys, I'm going to start with Jihado. Jihado, we're going to speak about the success and failure. Uh, describe a successful or a successful person um, to you, your idea. So describe a successful person about your point of view. Who it to be a person that you consider to be very successful? Uh, actually, I'm not uh, clear about uh, the persons. Is uh, is the persons are uh, including my family members? I mean, belonging in my family no. members. No, can can be anyone. Can be anyone around the world. Maybe famous people. Maybe uh, imp uh, entrepreneurs. Anyone that you would like to describe as a successful person. Yeah, first of all, I uh, want to say about a young guy um, in uh, in Bangladesh. Actually, uh, she uh, motivated me to learn English. So I. Uh, consider uh, himself uh, as a successful person. I mean, uh, he is a good speaker. I mean, good speaker in English, and he always try to motivate, um, motivate our um, country students to learn how to speak in English, and how to uh, start uh, learning uh, English. So, uh, in this uh, prospect, I uh, will say that. Uh, he will be more successful person, uh, in my opinion, because uh, I uh, I took uh, plenty of uh, motivations uh, from uh, from him from uh, from his speaking, because uh, really she, uh, he can uh, speak more fluently uh, than me, and, and he's like a teacher. So I will say. And I, there's an interesting story that uh, he is um, um, younger than me. I mean, maybe uh, he is uh, 28, years, uh, 28 years old at this um, situation. And uh, if I mentioned his names, uh, he's called uh, Doyle Chandra. He uh, lived in uh, Bangladesh. I mean, uh, um, he's starting uh, as a spoken uh, as a speaker, uh, very uh, rural area. I mean, uh, he lived he lived in uh, a countryside in our country. So I consider uh, he I consider him as a success a successful person uh, as I. Uh, not is in our country and uh, he motivates a lot uh, to learn how to speak in English. Nice, nice. So hello Madalena, how can I say your right name? Would you like to introduce yourself first for everyone who are here in this meeting, this meeting and after you we're going to start to introduce ourselves for you. Yeah, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Madalena, where are you from, Madalena? I'm from Poland. Nice. And so let's start introducing myself to you. And Alice can introduce herself too after me finishes. So I'm Alexander Gonçalves and I'm from okay. Brazil. And I have been studying English for almost four years by myself, of course. But I just had uh, some opportunities uh, last year uh, to practice English with a privacy teacher, which I hired to help me with my conversation. I studied with him for about one year, and we uh, practiced so much my speaking skills. I tried to correct my grammar mistakes and something like that. But uh, since five, uh, at least five or six months ago, 
I stopped to study with him because I, at that time, I must to pay him, which was not mm -hmm. so uh, cheap. It was uh, quite expensive to keep studying with him. And I decided to stop to, to study with a privacy teacher. And I decided to create my own English speaking club because, as you probably already know, uh, at YouTube, uh, at Facebook, we have a lot of English uh, groups, and uh, it's not so difficult to build uh, an English group by yourself. But of course, it's quite difficult to start speaking uh, with someone maybe you don't know. But uh, we are here. We do it. We have been practicing English for almost uh, six months until right now. We started in January, February, 2023. This English meeting. And I'm so glad that you had the code join us, could join us here today, and that he can bring you to this English media too. So I'm so happy to have you here. It's a pleasure to uh, to account with you here at this English group. And that's it. That's all for myself. And this group here, you note that we just came here. Sometimes I brought some topics to discuss here, and everyone has their own opportunities to express their own ideas. Uh, about the topic. For instance, Jihado was spoken about uh, success and failure. So uh, I asked him, describe a successful person that you know. So he started to describe someone, uh, his country, maybe it's a quite famous or a quite successful person, and things like that. Uh, just to bring our mind to join English, just to bring our mind to thinking about in English. In my, in my country, I don't know how about your country, but in my country here in Brazil, just 1%, 1% of people are able to speak in English. So it's quite difficult to find someone or to practice English during my day. So that's why I'm so anxious. I'm so excited to uh, arrive at Saturday, Saturday's morning, because here in Brazil, it's uh, almost 11 a.m. And yet uh, to be here with you to practice my English. OK, so. That's all for my side here. I'd like to ask you, Alice, you'd like to introduce you. Ah, I believe you don't know, you already know uh, each one because I know that you oh, yeah. have been practicing together. But we have Alice. Alice for, is from China. Alice is one of our English partner here. Uh, one of the first, Jihad was my one of my first partner uh, here at this English group. And after that, Alice joined us. And right now we are with Tanger here. Hello, Tanvir. Would you like to introduce yourself for Madalena? Yeah, of course. Madalena, hi. My name is Tanvir. I am from Bangladesh and my district side of Noakhali. And I am studying a gov our district's government college, Noakhali government college. My subject is mathematics. Yeah. That's all? Okay. That's uh, that. Very good. Very good. So as you probably already know, I do, I do, I gonna, uh, how can I say, I do not ask anyone more to, to, to introduce yourself because I, as I presume, or I, I haven't assumed that you both know each other. Okay. So it's, uh, let's, let's go ahead with our English speaking practice. So I'd like to ask a question, uh, Madalena. The next question is it will be for you. So about success and failure. So uh, describe for us your idea of success, the same as your parents' idea. So let me ask you, is your idea uh, about success the same as your parents' idea? So what do your parents believe that is a successful life and what you believe that is a successful life? Successful life? Mm. Okay, so question number two, yes? Exactly. Um, I think that um, my idea is a um, little different than my parents' idea of success um, because general, um, my parents have another profession than me and I, than my siblings. And my idea of success is um, have to good job um, and it is not enough to only have a lot of money f from this job. Um, I, in my opinion, um, the most um, important issue of job is um, I have to like this job. Uh, so I think that 
Mm, my idea of success have a good, a really good job when I feel um, amazing in this job. Mm, and uh, also I think that um, success of life, um, ha it has family because in general I am um family person i like spend time with family and my friends so i also it is also important for me to have my own family and and i think uh, also in life and in success to um, to develop your passion hobbies uh, so i think it is also important uh, for me um, my parents have um, a little different way or direction um, because for general they have another pr profession than me um, because uh, i am nursing student and but my parents um, profession my father is postman my mother is security guard so it is completely another um, profession uh, but I think they are also feel happy in their life and I think that um, they think that um, they achieve um, this success of their life. Uh, so they also have family and job and some crops when where they uh, really like job in these crops. Uh, so um, our idea of success is little different, but um, also um, little similar. For example, family issues is similar. Uh, at all. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, so uh, it's very important to this uh, to be happy. Uh, for about what you have to do for about your career and I agree with you I agree 100% with you, what you just said right now uh, for instance I don't know how about you and first of all congratulations to be and uh, to be studying uh, nursing I, I really appreciate the doctor sectors the medical assistants they are very important for us especially with the last pandemic which we, we passed through uh, so it's very important. We need more professionals about this. It's very, very important. And the next question need to be for Alice. Alice, it's your turn. Would you like to answer it for us? Uh, why is money often used to judge success? Why people just thinking money, as Magdalena said for us, uh, is not all about money. Just needed to be happy about what you are doing. And I think the same because if you just earn money but you hated what you had to do you hated your responsibility or what you were in charge of so how can you keep doing that if you don't have the pleasure to be there so it's very difficult but in your opinion Alice, what do you think the third question why is money often used it to judge its success okay uh i i think it is uh Mm, a very interesting story. Uh, very qu in interesting question, and I think a lot of see uh, a lot of people think that if someone is poor, uh, it means these people is not successful. Uh, but uh, uh, they think all the rich people are successful. I think the majority of people. Uh, at least the majority of people in China have, um, have this opinion. They don't care much about if the uh, rich people love their career. Uh, if the rich people uh, have some contribution to the society, uh, they only think that if they are rich, they must be successful. Uh, I have been thinking about the reason why people think of this. But it is uh, very hard to get an answer. Uh, I, I think um, uh, all the people, uh, I, I think um, pe all the people love money. Maybe this is our personality. This is our, uh, uh, this is some kind of natural value. Uh, when we when we were born, uh, we have we have this kind of value deep 
in our heart, I guess. So uh, all of us love money and uh, all of us are chasing for money. Uh, and besides, I think uh, to some extent, uh, money means resource. And I think uh, in the world, the resource is limited. And money means the results. So uh, if some someone get more money, this means this person can get some results. And uh, this means he is successful because everyone wanted it or wa want to compete for money, but someone can get money, someone can't. So this means the people who can get money, uh, it's more competitive and more successful. I, I guess uh, it, it's because of this reason that people think money means successful. But uh, actually, I think uh, earning money is not everything in our life. We have a lot of other things to do, uh, such as uh, what Magdalena just said. Family is a very important thing in our life. I, I think spending time with family can uh, give us happiness. Uh, this is true happiness. And sometimes I think money can't give us true happiness. Uh, for instance, in my country, there are some famous people who are very rich, but they take drugs and uh, they commit suicide. They, some people don't know why. They are extremely rich, but they are not happy. They are in depression and uh, commit suicide. So I, I think... Uh, from this uh, instance, uh, we can know that money that, uh, do, does not mean happiness. We shouldn't uh, uh, think too highly of money. We need money uh, to support our life, but we shouldn't spend the whole life in earning money. We should spend um, some time to ch uh, chase for some true happiness such as the love, the friendship, and uh, spending time with our family, or just uh, experience some, some new things. I think maybe this are true happiness. Okay, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we must, uh, must think about that money is not dangerous. Uh, I believe the danger, the real danger, the real concern is about what <laughs> money gonna do with the person which earn it. So because a person starts to think different when they got much money, when they earn much money, they started to uh, change the way of thinking, the way of do things and handle life. So in his life and their lives. So that is the danger. The person who has the money is uh, maybe going to be the, is going to be the dangerous uh, part of the, this situation. So the money changes people. I don't know why, but sometimes this happens. It's not every time. It's not every case, but the majority of time, the money uh, changed the way of people thinking, sometimes to a good way, sometimes from bad way. So depends on each one, depends on the, each situation. So thank you for answering this question. And yeah, it's very important to talk about. So I, I, I already heard, so which means we just heard two opinions about that. But right now, let me know what are you thinking about this danger? Why? Uh, let, me, uh, let me ask another question to be the fourth question. Okay. Have there been any failures that made your life better? So uh, there's some times in our lives that we just thinking about things, success, success, and success. But sometimes uh, some bad things happen. But in the future, that bad things maybe turns to be a good thing. Seems to be good because if you uh, let me let me give an example. Uh, let us let us assume let intend here that you are study uh computer uh, let me say electrical engineer for yeah, instance, you got start it. you got it yeah yeah okay so it's your turn go ahead okay my in my life uh, there are so many happened failure failure means uh, when i uh, when i am studying uh, my school life and there are uh, so many exam and uh, i prepared the exam last uh, my in my test exam that is our SSC exam before our basic exam before 
and the, at the time uh, when i got a result i am so shocked because um, my fourth subject is very poor result that means uh, it was uh, 30 30 30 and uh, another subject 25 or another subject 45 but it's not enough for me uh, i i hope that uh, it's the fourth subject is result uh, i got it uh, 85 or 75 or etc but it uh, it means uh, a, a plus a grade i mean a grade a, you you know a grade I don't know, so I I'm trying to remember. Yeah, can you explain for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I explain that is uh, when uh, our school exam is hundred score about hundred score, and every student got a eighty five. That's mean a a grade. And oh, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, understood. Yeah, I got it. You you understand? Uh, yeah, my expectation is a a grade. But uh, it's not. Uh, we, I got a, a grade. It's uh, my result is bad. I am failure, and I decided uh, I am more active for my study. And uh, every day I I am a struggle for my SSC exam. And I got a. I I will got a. I I got I, I got a bad I got a great result in my SSC after my SSC exam I am so surprised and my family and my ma mother and my parents and my ma father and my siblings so so excited and they are happy for my result when they are so and it's main important side or another thing that uh, when uh, i learning when i learning a bike and i am uh, at the time one day i i uh, how can i say i am accident i am accident and with a, i am accident with a vehicle and i am so at the time i am so sick my Lay, my hand uh, is crushed and uh, my head is crushed uh, but it's so difficult and uh, i when i i am uh, i am healthy healthy uh, uh, my health my health is uh, oil at the time i am so struggle and i learning preferably i learning preferably bike riding and uh, now i am clearly uh, dive bike that's it nice nice uh, you said everything sometimes we need to fail to succeed have you ever heard yeah. this phrase yeah yeah of course so people don't think that uh just because you fail at the first time it will be not possible to do anymore so english is an exact example english is a true example of that so sometimes uh, let you let you just ask you here Try remember the first time you got an English conversation with someone. Try to remember that day, that day. And now look at yourselves. If you just gave up at the first time you got the first conversation because you felt so uh, uneasy and wise at that time, so bad at your English at that time, how could you be you right now? How could your English be at this way at this right now? So. I'm so proud about my own and I'm so proud about your English speaking skills because you are good. I can understand you every word, each word, sorry, without any problem. But that doesn't mean that I not make mistakes. I do not make mistakes during my English speaking. I made a lot of mistakes since this English speaking season started. But uh, the most important thing is the English communication and the confidence is building. We are building our English confidence. That's the key. And then other ways we will improve, we will learn. Maybe and one day someone will correct us. Maybe some English speaker will help us. Uh, I don't know what the future can bring, but the main point is never give up. Okay. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes we will, maybe we fail, but we are here and we are learning. And that's the key. Okay. It's a continual process. So, Jehado, it's your turn again.
Uh, let me let me ask the last question of this stage here. Can you think of any famous people who failed at something? Can you remember? You just said uh, you answered the first question, but uh, the first question you said about another guy who is from Bangladesh, which is you consider to be famous. But right now, I'd like to describe someone or to say someone can be from all over the world. You do not. Uh, you can just say uh, speaking about, for instance, Elon Musk, for instance uh bill gates for instance some people like this because i i'm sure for instance michael jordan have you ever heard about michael jordan the biggest players of basketball from all over the world and from over time for all time so he failed a lot of time some he fails a lot of time but right now he is the biggest so can you think of any famous people who failed at something it's your turn jihad Jehado, can you hear this? Oh, Jehado just lost connection. I don't know why, but let's change it for the next person. Madalena, it's your turn. Would you like to say, can you think of any famous people who failed at some time? Sorry, some things. Uh, yes, I got this question. I thinking uh, who I can describe. <laughs> can be can be a close person close to your family close to your life or the same city that you live in no problem. Um, i think that i can describe my brother but it is not too much famous person but um, he actually is doctor but um, the um, his his dire uh, his direction his um, route to be a doctor is uh, have a uh, many failures mm, so when he uh, finished um, his high school um, he w w wanted to be a doctor for since a child <laughs> but um, the, um, the fin finally exam when when we polish um, people children um, finish high school uh, it depends when you can um, application and um, he he really a lot of studied for this exam but unfortunately um, his exam um, was not good for him because uh, he unfortunately can't apply for to be a doctor so he decided to um, to to try another direction and uh, he applied to be a engineer um, and uh, he studied by engineer for one year but he still feel bad in this um, profession profession so he decided to uh, write again this exam mm, so um, so he spent one years of his life to study only to finally high school exam and he he replied this ex he replied write this exam and uh, result of, it, of this exam will was be really better um, than before so uh, he finally um, can be studied um, as doctors and uh, finally he finished the students um, before um, finally the students um, after six years so now um, he still stud student he's still student um, but uh, now he students for special specializes specialties um, but finally i think that he feel better um, um, because co he have um, re he he's really brave that he um, changed your direction of his career um, 
So I think that um, his direction to be a doctor has um, a lot of failure, um, but I think that success, um, to achieve success, never be easy. <laughs> Yeah, indeed, indeed, it's not. Quite, it's quite difficult. And how uh, how good is the story? I I like your story about your brother's story. So uh, it was very. Maybe this can motivate us uh, about our life because he failed at the first time. But because it's a huge, it's a huge decision to be uh, what you're gonna be for rest of, for the rest of your life. Because you you are talking about your graduation. You are talking about your career. So he failed at the doctor at the first time to examine to to uh, to join at the doctor school, but he changed it uh, rapidly. He changed his career and started to study engineer. But he didn't like uh, this matter. He didn't like this uh, uh, this uh, target. But so he decided to go back and try again one more time uh, to be a doctor. And uh, the second time he was able. He was succeed on that. So very very good example and let's start let's took this example for our own life let's look at this example if we fail at the first time try harder the next one okay that's it so congratulations for your brother thank you for sharing this with us it was uh, it was awesome to know this information and Jihado, and you would you like to answer the question right now let's try I know that we have some problems with the connection with Shehado. I don't know what happened, but maybe we have a barely connection. Uh, Shehado, let's try. Would like to say anything? Can you hear us? Uh, I think uh, it would be better if I uh, skip. Uh, if you skip my turn, I think uh, sometimes I feel uh, so uncomfortable to my network. Sometimes uh, you all you guys are freezing. Uh, to me and sometimes um, no, I'm unable to understand you correctly. I yeah. have a huge problem. So. No problem, no problem. I'd like to answer the last question. Can you think of any famous people who failed at something? Uh, yes, maybe I don't have uh, enough idea uh, about uh, any famous persons. And in my personal life, there is no information uh, uh, any information about any persons i don't know uh, i want to skip this question uh, from my side okay no problem no problem so alice uh i would like to change a topic for you that okay but you're gonna be the next one let me just uh, skip this announcement okay right now we're gonna talk about animals i don't know if you like it guy animals but uh personally i have three animals at my home i have a dog which is san bernardo i don't know if it is in the, the right name in english but i got i have a san bernardo which is a huge dog uh which i already sent messages and photos from him of him at our english group and uh we have two more cats we have two little cats here at our home so uh we like so animals we like to uh, and before that i had a bird which was a uh, bird to be uh, to be a, a in our home. So uh, my bird, it, it was free, so he could uh, uh, fly for any other place which he it liked it. But unfortunately, uh, he died some some months ago. Right now, we had just three, uh, two cats, two cats, and uh, one dog, a big dog. And let me ask the next question for you, Alice, about animals. What animal best represents you and why? If you need to choose an animal to represent yourself, your personality, who, uh, what type of animal it would be? Okay, uh, it, it's hard to answer this question. <laughs> Actually, um, I don't know um, very much uh, personality or fe uh, features. And, about Alice, just a second. Just a second. Uh, okay. Sorry to interrupt you. I'd like just to advise or warn you guys. Uh, Madalena maybe don't know, but uh, this English meeting are recording, okay? Are about to be recording because I have a YouTube channel and I post my uh, English decisions there. 
but don't be shy because there is no much person subscribe at my YouTube channel. I just posted this video there to maybe ourselves to watch it again and to see what we said and how how did we did said some things uh, to to see our development. Okay, so uh, just so you know, Madalena, this English meeting are recording. Is there any problem for you? No, no problem. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, thank you. So, Alice, sorry to interrupt you, it's your turn. So, keep go ahead, say me what type of animal you should be if you were an animal. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm trying to um, think of the um, features uh, of all kinds of animals. Uh, I, I, I have no idea what animal can represent me. But uh, uh, I can um, I can try to describe my own personality. Uh, maybe after this uh, after my description, I will have an idea which uh, animal can represent me. Uh, I I think uh, uh, I am a person uh, who uh, who is um, who is eager to uh, not eager who is keen to learn. And uh, I think um, I I can um, when I was in school uh, I I can learn uh, something quickly and easily. Uh, maybe I am not the person who uh, who learn the most e uh, who learn easiest and the most uh, uh, quickly. But I think uh, I am I I can learn quickly uh, compared to a lot of people. And but I, I think I am not, uh, quite good at um. I I, I don't have very high uh social intelligence. Uh, I can uh I can communicate with uh my friends well, but uh, I think, I mean, uh, some sales people are uh, um, some politics uh, have very good uh, social intelligence because uh they can easily like a lot of people. Uh, like him, uh, they can. Uh, their unique uh, and uh, brilliant personality can attract a lot of people. Uh, I am not that kind of person, and I think uh, I am. Uh, I am very decided. Uh, this means uh, if when I uh, set a goal for myself, I will try my best to reach this goal. Uh, no matter. Uh, how long it takes, uh, no matter how hard it is, uh, I will I will try to reach this goal. Uh, such as now, uh, my goal is to speak fluent English. Uh, I want to uh, have um, I want to have a high English level where I can use English. I use English as my working language, and then I I want to work in foreign country. So I think this year um, I have been. Uh, trying hard to reach this goal. Uh, I have been uh, insisting on uh, working, uh, insisting on improving my English skill. I think uh, maybe this is my uh, personality and uh, um, let me think uh, as for um, as for emotional uh, aspect, I, I am not a uh, 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 quite emotional people. I think the most of time I can do the emotional management uh, very well. Uh, but sometimes I I still um lose my temper. But uh, I I think it's not quite frequently. Uh, when I was young, uh, I like to uh, lose my temper. And uh, when I was young, if I had some different opinion with other people and uh, i uh, if i argued with uh, other people i would uh, uh, feel angry but now i i hardly ever do that uh, i respect other people's opinion so uh, i don't know which kind of uh, which kind of animal uh, can represent me it's difficult I, it's difficult to uh, choose yes. Yes, I look at I look at uh, the Google here while you, you were speaking about it. I search it here by the Google uh, about the characters that you just said. So about the 
to be decided, to be uh, uh, easy learned animal. And uh, seems to be that cats and uh, monkeys and um, uh, dogs, three types of three types of uh, animals which Google showed me about these three characters. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it, <laughs> if it is right, but maybe you can choose about cat, uh, donkey, or monkey, or um, dogs. Three types of animals are decided and uh, learn fast and uh, um, are uh, more, how can I say, good, like you said. And I don't know, just to, just to have an idea. What are you thinking about? But you can choose one. You must choose one. What type of animal well, do you like? I must choose one. Uh, I, I like to choose cat because I like a cat very much. But uh, <laughs> maybe I think if you ask uh, Magdalena this question, he, she will also choose cat because she also likes cat very much, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, Tainfer, it's your turn. Thank you, Alice, to share this with us. And it's very, it's quite difficult to describe ourselves and especially in another language. Uh, you did very well. So, Tainfer, it's your turn. The, the next question to you, Tainfer, it would be, what animal scares you and why? Uh, you are muted. Uh, the next question is the second one for you. What it animal scares, scares you? Hello, Alex. Hello. Uh, did you know? Did you get the question? What animal scares you and why? It scares. Yeah, make you be afraid, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, there are so scared animals in our country and uh, such kind of uh, every day when I <laughs> with him with him meet up every day, that is, how can I say, that is dog. Basically, dogs for me scare animals, uh, but some people it's like him, like him because uh, but uh, i think uh, our country our country our country animals our country animal dogs is a kind of a scare animal but foreign foreign dog is better than for me and uh, it's better everyone that's why our country's people foreign dogs uh, foreign dogs uh, purses any countries and any market then they are how can i say they are day by day they they are how can i say day by day they are fish and they are fish and uh, day by day they spend they spend a lot of time with him with him but uh, it's most, uh, <laughs> I think uh, it's uh, <coughs> scare animals. And but uh, foreign foreign dogs, uh, I like it. Foreign dogs, I like it. You, uh, you have a one foreign dog. You have exactly. a foreign dog. Exactly. Oh yeah. A big one. But uh, but our country, our country dogs is very tiny, a uh, very very terrible and bear, uh, so much scares that's it okay 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 so be careful about these dogs because yeah, sometimes yeah. where i live here sometimes in brazil for instance when i'm just are walking around the streets just make some hiking with my family my son sometimes i i i depart with some dogs which lives on the streets you know this type of drug the dogs which are living on the streets on the on the there is no place to live in. They are more, yeah. depends on the situation, they are more dangerous because they can beat you. They can beat you, they can attack you when you are in the streets. Sometimes this can happen any place, uh, but uh, but in general, of course, in general, I like dogs, I like animals in general, but sometimes they are dangerous. We must be, uh, we must be concerned about that too, aware yeah, about yeah. that. 
Okay, yeah, thank right. you. Thank you for your answer. So right now, uh, Gerardo, let me see. Would you like to try and answer again? Like, yeah, okay. yeah. What type of, let me ask you, Gerardo, what type of animals scare you? What type of animals scares you? I uh, think uh, it's the uh, same as uh, Tarby, uh, as you answered uh, about this question. Uh, he's uh, mostly scared about dogs. It's the same as me. The dogs also scares uh, to me. Because in our country, I mean, uh, there are abundant uh, <clears throat> dogs in our rules, in our villages, and also in our cities. Actually, uh, they no, uh, they are not vaccinated at all, and sometimes not uh, the uh, frequently. Uh, sometimes uh, some dogs uh, are attacked. I mean, human beings. I mean, uh, the pass um, passerby. I mean, humans. So uh, I think the dogs are scary animals to me, because in my city as well as my villages, uh, there are not. Are not available animals, uh, animals like dogs. Uh, in our countryside, there are some cows in our house, but they are not scary uh, to us. They are, they are not harmful uh, to us. The uh, the cows are really uh, friendly, and almost all the villagers uh, have uh, cows in their house. So. If I uh, to share my uh, scary animals, definitely I chose the dogs. Sometimes wow. I uh, in our uh, in our uh, uh, city uh, every um, every road all around me uh, all around the city there are some uh, dogs live on the streets. So sometimes uh, they are scary uh, to me. Wow, it's very it's very dangerous. To, uh, how can I say? It's very different to me here in Brazil because in Brazil people people don't have so many uh, uh, fears about dogs. People fear someone, each at least one or another. But dogs is friendly. I don't know. Uh, yes, Brazil. I know. As we described about uh, scary animals uh, like dogs, they are not uh, harmful to us. Which is just, just a personal opinion. I know about things <laughs> okay, okay. Not, uh, scaring animals, but I it's a personal you, opinion because we never face you, any man. animals, animals like dogs. Because we uh, frequently face uh, dogs in our city, in our villages, so we chose the dogs that scaring animals. Because uh, if we compare to a uh, cares. And monkey uh, in our city as well as my villages, there is there are no monkeys in our village as well as our city. So we uh, frequently find uh, dogs in our city as well as our countryside. So that's why I chose the dog one uh, that's most uh, scaring uh, animals for me. Okay, no, but uh, I agree with you. Uh, depend, uh, I just said that it was very, this is very interesting to know because here in Brazil, dogs is not so bad, uh, the situation. Of course, there are some dogs, for instance, pitbull. Have you ever heard about pitbull dogs? The, the type of dog which is called pitbull. This dog is one of the most dangerous dogs, in my opinion. I know there are a lot of people like them, and I like dogs in general, but pitbull is one of the most violent dog and uh, I, I'm scared about pitbulls too. I do not like this type of dogs, but in general dogs is, are friendly here in Brazil. But uh, it's very interesting to know that at other countryside, other countries all over the world, there are different ways of thinking. So that is the culture. So I like it to know that it's very important to know that. Thank you to uh, share yeah. this. There's, yeah. uh, there's a Another information I have to share with uh, you. Sometimes Go our uh, government, I mean, how can I say, the uh, city corporation area, uh, the authorities, I mean, city authorities, uh, sometimes uh, they kill some dogs. I mean, when the amount of dogs are really increased and um, the city authorities uh, take some 
uh, steps uh, to uh, kill uh, some dogs to uh, yeah uh, yeah in Brazil we had the same dogs yeah we had the same situation here so but right now i don't know if you uh, continue to do that they continue to do it but some years ago we had the same problems here there's a lot of dogs in the streets and the government started looking and to seeking these dogs and kill them and kill them because there's a lot of dogs abandoned dogs on the streets so uh, as a play uh, as a play uh, some uh, protesters i mean uh, uh, animal lovers so there are some uh, there is an organization and i can't recognize the name of this organization they show their uh, protest uh, against the killing of dogs so uh, last years i mean i think the killing of dogs i mean uh, postponed uh, to the uh, city authorities yeah so sad man i agree that is not so good uh when we have problems with dog i don't like it to kill dogs too because i don't like to kill any any type of uh, uh live series you know life uh, life eating so it's very very sad but uh, we have nothing to do that we cannot do anything we just can express our uh indignation about that it's a sad when you must to, to kill the animal and the governor and do that it's not a quite a good thing but i don't know they must do it i'm so sorry and that's the, all i can say is sorry for this situation okay um, uh, Ale Alex. Uh, i have to leave right now the day after tomorrow I have an exam, so I have to uh, study a lot uh, about my subject. So uh, I'm sorry to say that I have to leave right now. Oh, my friend. Oh, my friend. Sad now. You just, you do not say that. You do not say that. You can't leave right now. Oh, man. It have been a while since the last time we talked. Why? Why you can't? Uh, just, just stay with her. Just stay here with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. If you need to, to leave, go ahead. Uh, I'm. I wish all the best about your studies. I wish that you got the the best uh, scores about your exams because you earn it. You 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 uh, needed to get the band scores, the great band scores. So, go ahead, Madalena. Magda, Magda raised uh, her hand. To say yes, something. Um, um, like as the other, I have to lift because I have to help my father. So thank you very much that I can um, took part for this conversation. And I hope that um, maybe one day I um, can again um, will took a part for this conversation. <laughs> Nice, nice. Uh, we are so glad to know you. We we get so glad to have a new partner here. If you, uh, whatever you want, whenever you would like to speak, Gerardo already know that. I always invited him to join us here. But you too, Magda, uh, feel free to join us. Feel free to ask for Gerardo contacts about our English speaking season here. And we must, to, uh, we hope to see you again and uh, as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Congratulations, bye bye. guys, for your English. <laughs> your English is very well. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye bye, guys. Bye. Uh, See you. Bye -bye. See you. So, Alice and Denver, we continue. We keep continuing. Jehado, too. Jehado, you're going to stay here. Oh, that's very nice. So, we're going to stay here. Um, so, let's keep it. Let's go ahead. About We are talking about animals which maybe can scare you. So, Alice, I'm I'm really interested in know what type about uh, animals, uh, what type of animals scares you? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm Maybe I am different from uh, other people's answer. Um, they are afraid of dog, but I am not afraid of dog. But maybe not. If I if I walk in a, a quite a natural place and um, uh, there is no one there, only me there, and um, suddenly there are three big dogs running at me, running uh, to me, and at that time I will be afraid of the dog. But uh, uh, I am living in the city, and uh, I, all the dogs I see are. Uh, are uh, pets 
uh, of other people, uh, they are very cute and uh, uh, they are very small. I am not afraid of them. Um, inside, I think they are very cute. Uh, I uh, there is uh, a kind of animal that I am quite scared of. It is a snake. I am very scared of snakes. I even uh, don't dare to watch the pictures of snakes. I think they are disgusting. Uh, sometimes when I think about the picture of a snake, I will feel very, uh, very bad. Uh, I, I really don't like them. Uh, and I think uh, snakes are not quite friendly to um, human beings. Some um, some snakes uh, are, are our enemies, I think. But maybe there are some good snakes. And um, there are some snakes, if, you, uh, if they bite you, you will die. You will have to go to the doctors as soon as possible or, or else you will die. So uh, every time I go to the zoo, I will uh, avoid going to the snakes area <laughs> because I really don't want to see them. Okay, that's all. <laughs> nice. Snakes Snakes is very scary too. I, I don't like so much snakes too, like you said. Uh, but in my opinion, guys, just so you have an idea, uh, at my side, I have been scared about spiders i don't like spiders i don't like i'm I, I i should not say that i'm scared about that but i should say that i have some concerns about spiders so i don't like to see i don't like to to when i saw some spiders at my home i do not run away i just kill this spider you know i i took my uh, my flip-flops and tap. I, I give I hit them so because I don't like it I I'm scared sometimes about that but not so scared I just don't like it about these animals and <laughs> it's a very it's quite interesting but it's true I should say that oh, okay I got it uh, let me share uh, one thing do you know guys about lit the animals uh, uh, live in the water yes sure lich let me let me search her let me search her in the google because lich. Tell, me, tell me do you know that lich are common in our country oh, we find them in the water uh can you can you uh spell it for us how or can you type on this chat here just to see how can i how can i search uh, yeah yes sure, sure. Ah, let's okay. Let me see what is it in Portuguese. Let me see in English and Portuguese. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh man, so disgusting. This guy, I don't like it too. I don't like these things too, man. Not, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, and this is very, uh, uh, well, how can uh, I say, sometimes we. we Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah. We frequently face uh, these animals. I don't know, these animals are, are fish. Uh, I don't know uh, how the accurate, how the correct, uh, how can I say the correct uh, name of these the, is this animals are fish. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, exactly, it's animals. But... Yeah, I, animals, okay. animals, can you tell animals? Okay, in our countryside, we frequently uh, face uh, these types of animals who are uh, working in our field field because they are uh, in our uh, when we are collecting our paddy uh, from our field. Um, uh, definitely, there is some uh, water um, uh, <clears throat> um, in our paddy field, and we face uh, these types of animals uh, uh, frequently. So yeah, are they are to, disgusting, man. Uh, they are so <laughs> Yes, we are. Um, but you know, uh, there are uh, 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 useful animals for our uh, one of uh, <clears throat> yeah, the leads are used uh, used uh, to how can I say as uh, skin treatment. 
Yeah, I, I've heard that. I've heard that, but I don't know how this can happen. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, it's a really essential, really important. I mean, uh, effective uh, medicine for uh, for skins. And sometimes um, you, I think, you used to watch our face, the human face. There's some um, pills. I mean, certain uh, pills in our face and in our mouth. Some um, doctors, uh, some um, skin, uh, I mean, skin. Skincare, skincare uh, equipments, yes. Yes, I know, I know what you want to mean. I got you. So, but I, I've heard that there are some people who went to this spa, you know, spa, they call it spa. When they went to spa, they get so many treatments to their skin, to their body. And one of these treatments is. Uh, with animals, with some type of animals. I don't know if you keep doing that, but uh, some months ago, they are, they uh, some years ago, they used it to use this type of animals to use uh, this treatment. And you, Alice, do you know what type of animal we are talking about? Leech. I, Leech. I, yeah. I, this, uh, uh, I looked up it. Um, in the dictionary, and I know this. Uh, I have never seen this kind of animal, but I know it is disgusting. I heard about this in some novels. Uh, in some Chinese novels, the writers like to write this kind of animal, and uh, they use this kind of animal as a weapon to uh, to do some attack to, to, to the enemies. I, I know this. It's disgusting. It yeah, likes so. to Exactly. They seem to be. They seem to be snails. They are like snails. Snails is is, uh, is how can I say? It's similar to this type of animal. Snails is like. Uh, 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 but there are some people in French, for instance. For instance, people in French like to eat snails. You know, it's snails. I believe it's yeah. like this. Oh, the snail will never do bad things to human beings, and uh, yeah, yeah. it will not bite us, but the leech is bad. It will bite yeah. us and suck our blood, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, you know, you know, there is information that leech are actually bites ourselves, but they, uh, they actually choke the, how can I say, the uh, toxic blood from our, uh, blood. And they also uh, put, uh, how can I say, uh, put, uh, oh, sorry, uh, put eggs, put some things bad at your body. Uh, yeah, they put uh, uh, some things uh, uh, to our body that are uh, really uh, good for us, for our health, for our skin. Ah, oh, so man. We, uh, uh I prefer. I would prefer to not have these good things from <laughs> from Lexi. The, I prefer to the, take some medicines. <laughs> and the and the things is uh, uh, some people actually made oil from uh, from the leaves. Yeah, I I heard that they sell these products. Uh, I don't know why they do that, but uh, I don't know how people can can submit this treatment yet. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it's my opinion, of course. Maybe, maybe Alice likes to have this treatment. Alice, have you ever go to this spa to have a treatment with Sledge? No. <laughs> I'm afraid of this. Uh, and you, Tenver, have you ever uh, took some Sledge to yourself as a child? Child like to get some animals, some little animals when you were a child, do you know? <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, don't be so, muted. Uh, we don't hear you. Yeah, yeah. You are muted, Tanvir. Oh, yeah. No, so, man. Have you ever... No, I no, man. Not... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, that's good. Juk, Chirana, Juk, Juk. Yeah, yeah. Sini. Sini. We are. Uh, talking about leech, I mean the English lay name of joke is a leech. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, joke. nice. 
Yeah, but but that's it, guys. Uh, I believe that we did for today. I believe uh, we can stop here to our English speaking season. I'm so glad that you uh, you all achieved your your English level. You are have uh, you all have been achieving your goals related to English. Uh, I'm so glad that we can put all together here at the same room, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm so glad that Jehado brings her new colleagues to to share with us her knowledge, to, to introduce her colleague to us, uh, his colleague to us. And I'm so glad to have you again here with us, Jehado. And thank you, Wallace, to be here with you, with us too. Um, again, I know that is a uh, weekend and everyone has a lot of things to do. Uh, would like to be resting, would like to be playing some games, would like to do nothing, but they, uh, we all, Uh, are here at the same room, just trying to improve our speaking skills, and I'm so glad that we are able to do it. So, but uh, from my side, I'd like to finish this English meeting here because I must uh, take my motorcycle to the maintenance. I must uh, do some adjustments at my motorcycle to be ready to uh, start my next next week to go to the job with uh, with it. So I must uh, finish this English meeting here today. But I'd like to say thank you for all of you. Go ahead. I'm the I'm the uh, staying my red line to finish my uh, meetings, and I would like to uh, uh, ask uh, Tanbi why you not contract with me. Uh, I I actually tried to several times to contract with you in your WhatsApp number, but you not response. Do you uh, change your uh, phone numbers? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Recently, I changed my WhatsApp number, and now my WhatsApp number is 018829403899. But I, I, I send you. I send I you. Yes, I'm going to send a link for, uh, for you, Jihado, from his uh, new number. Okay, thank you. I can uh, hear you properly. Okay, I will uh, contact you later. And I want to leave right now. Um, I'm so glad to meet you guys. I'm so uh, glad. And thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you too. Thank Take you. care about your 